her church uh, put together an event called The Collective, and it's basically just a big night of worship where uh, different bands from different churches come and spend time together, uh, play music together and all that stuff. And it uh, was something that I was invited to through a mutual friend of ours. So my band was able to be a part of it. It was March 26, 2017. And that is the day that I met her and that's the day that our paths started to align and become one. And I remember vividly just walking through those doors and the first thing that I was able to see was her sound checking on the stage across from the place where the venue where we were having this event. And I remember thinking, man, like she looks really cute. She looks super cute. I want to go get a closer look. And so I just made an excuse. I saw somebody that I knew and so I went up to go say hi to this person when really I just wanted to get a closer look at Brie. Uh, and sure enough, she was like even hotter close up, so that was good. We had the same color shirt, we had the same color pants, black pants, gray shirt, denim jacket. Um, I think we even had like a same like bracelet and stuff. Like we pretty much like, it looked like we had called each other and said, hey, what exactly are you wearing? Because I'm gonna wear the exact same thing. So we kind of like connected there and then, I mean, she was just an awesome person. So I was able to talk with her a lot. At the end of the event, we, continue to talk and we just got to know each other a lot more and uh, I just just really just liked talking with her and being around her and spending time with her so uh, we just kind of both didn't want the night to end we could tell after the event everyone uh, like a bunch of us just as a group went to Buffalo Wild Wings and we just had more time together there and it was just really good really fun but she had to leave kind of early that night because she had to wake up super early the next morning because she's a teacher and she works harder than anybody alive uh, so she said bye to everybody said bye to me and she starts like walking away so I was stressing she was the prettiest girl uh, she was super fun she was witty uh, so smart, funny, I liked her, I, I, and she was leaving, she was going away, I, I, I didn't know when I was going to see her, if I was going to see her again, so I was just panicking, um, I remember I looked to my friend that was sitting next to me and I asked him, hey, is she with someone, like, does she have a boyfriend, is she dating somebody, he said, not that I know of, so that's all, that, I, I took that and I ran with it, and I literally ran with it, I got up, and I was like, okay, I'll be right back, I got up, I loop around, she was already like about to head out the doors. I loop around, I like stop her, and she like kind of like looks at me kind of panicked, like, whoa. Um, and I say, hey, I really, I had a great time tonight. I'm so happy that I got to meet you. And uh, she's like, yeah, me too. Like, I had a lot of fun. And I said, well, you're really cute, and I just want to continue talking with you. Would you mind if I got your number? And she gave me her number. That night, I text her, and we had our very first inside joke that we still laugh at today and everything after that has just continued to be just magic and special uh, between us. Mm -hmm.